Hi kids, Captain Bummer here. You know, when I was a kid, the holiday season was my favorite time of year. And you know what else? It still is. In the U.S., it starts with Halloween, where you get lots and lots of candy. Next comes Thanksgiving, where you eat lots of turkey and pie, though I usually skip the turkey. After that comes Christmas, which for some people is about getting presents or religious celebration, but for me, it's about lots and lots of frosted cookies. And a tad after that comes New Year's, where you drink lots of fizzy, sugary liquids and eat lots of cake for two days straight without sleeping. Candy, pie, cookies, cake. It's one long, gigantic parade of sweet, yummy treats. I wish it would never end. But unfortunately, human beings can't handle that much sugar or fat. We have to balance it with protein, minerals, and vitamins to stay healthy. If you don't get enough of even one of these, it can lead to diseases so horrible that I can barely describe them. Suffice it to say that some part of the body becomes discolored, disfigured, dysfunctional, or falls apart altogether. Captain! Oh, Captain! It's our good friend Stick Figure! Hey, Stick Figure! Hi, Captain! I'm trying to match all of these vitamins and minerals through nutritional diseases, but I don't know how. Oh. Will you help Stick Figure match nutrients to diseases? You won't? What's the matter with you? I'll help you, Stick Figure. Six. The first mineral is calcium. Ah, calcium. Got milk? If you don't, you might get osteoporosis, even more likely if you're old and female. Yay! Our first match! Next is Iron. I am Iron Man. Ah, actually, I'm just Captain Bummer. But I do have enough iron to avoid getting anemia. Wow, Captain! I wish I could know stuff like you. Here's our first vitamin. It's B1. Also known as thiamine. And without enough of it, you might get berry berry. Thank you very, very much, Captain. <laughs> Good one, stick figure. Okay, Captain. How about vitamin C? Oh, that's my favorite disease. Scurvy. Big with pirates. Arr! Remember, fight scurvy. Eat a lime. Wow! Only two more to go. Vitamin D. Hey, I know that one. Some of my friends have it. It's rickets. Good job, stick figure. And I guess our last match must be vitamin E and ataxia. You did it, Captain. Thank you. All in the day's work. Say, stick figure, you might think about eating some more sugar, fat, and protein. You're looking a little thin. I would, Captain, but I live in a place with barely any food at all. My brothers and sisters have all died of starvation. Stick figure, you're bumming me out. And that's my special power. Here, have my almond joy. I don't like coconut anyway. Thanks, Captain. See you later. Bye, stick figure. Gotta love that stick figure. Now, in most developed countries, you probably don't need to worry about getting a malnutrition disease or starving to death like poor stick figure siblings. But you might need to worry about the opposite problem of getting too much fat or sugar or too much food energy altogether. When you eat more energy than you use, the excess turns into body fat. And too much body fat can lead to all sorts of life-threatening problems like diabetes, heart disease, or sleep apnea. And even worse, many people will prejudge you 
simply because you look fat. Now, Captain Bummer doesn't care if you have too much body fat. I've built up a pretty big pouch of it myself. But these other people will think or say mean things about you. Maybe because it makes them feel better about themselves. I don't know. But I do know that most people spend a lot of time, energy, and money trying to maintain a socially acceptable weight level. And that a bazillion diets and exercise routines have been invented just for that purpose. And some people even make themselves throw up or starve themselves to death just to avoid looking fat. And I know from experience that it gets harder and harder to manage weight as you get older. Hairy ears and hemorrhoidal tissues weren't there on graduation day. Just congratulations and a whole lot of I'll miss you's. Then they send me on my way. My metabolism slowed down. I gained a little weight. My shirts rolled up and my pants crept down. Now I'm serving a big plate of butter. Get it out of the butt crack. Yeah, die. Yeah, die, 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 So if you see them scrubbing floors or fixing decks or peeking under hooks, try not to freak. Just try to think of it as the top of a heart or two lovers dancing cheek to cheek. Put yourself in their position, cut them a little slack. Just count to two, cause it could be you. Oh, please don't turn your back on the curve. So you see, kids, eating the right amount of the right foods is a chore you'll have every single day for the rest of your life. And it keeps getting worse until you die. But at least eating can be fun. So try to enjoy yourself and don't worry about what other people think. If nothing else, know that Captain Bummer won't think any less of you whether you're too skinny or too fat. I have more important things to worry about, like whether there will even be food tomorrow. Oh, and by the way, if there isn't any food tomorrow, the fat people will probably outlive the skinny people. Unless the skinny people eat the fat people. Now it's time for you and me to go. Chances are that one of us won't be sure that we'll be part for good. Goodbyes can be forever. Goodbye.